Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome to day 27 of the free to play account, guys. 100 gems today. Tomorrow we get the Relentless set. Avoid Shard on the next day, so Friday. And then Saturday we get High Katoon. Amazing. Sunday it's gonna be uh, just energy. So that's fine. So, guys, what did I do on day 27? What did I do? What did I change? Well, we did go for that uh, third place in the uh, champion training uh, tournament if you guys watched my well yesterday's video you saw that i was on third position that i had to fight for it a bit in the morning today and i did fight for it and, and managed to get the third position yeah, i got one epic book i got some charms and then of course four six star wait is that six star six star um epic relentless sets so let's go very quickly and look at those and then we'll come back to the tournament i'll show you that gear that i got and you <laughs> You guys are gonna laugh because, uh, well, yeah, it's it's the luck of the free to play. So, uh, look at this helmet. Uh, let me move myself. <laughs> look at this helmet. Six percent attack, uh, sixteen flat attack, and the defense percent. Whatever. Uh, the glove is HP percent with the defense substat. No speed here. Uh, no speed on the chest, but an HP percent on the primary. I, I only held to these because of the primaries because I might need them on something in the future. I don't know. And then the only thing I had at speed substat was the, the boots and uh, it was a flat stat, a main stat. I mean, if it was anything else like attack percent, HP percent, defense percent, I would take it. But no, they had to give me flat. So <laughs> yeah, um, I only kept them because it did get one roll on the speed on the first one and then on level 8 it got the HP. So I can wear all these on a champion that needs like a ton of health and I, I would be in a nice position but I mean that champion would be very slow. So um, yeah, I'm not I'm not throwing away the 6 star items just yet, I'm just gonna keep them there especially artifact enhancement is gonna give me nice points to get them at least to uh, level 12 so yeah, keeping those for a while. Let's go back to, back to the tournaments, we've got many many more tournaments and if you guys didn't see my Discord post, if you're not on my Discord server, then yes we are gonna have a 2x on Sacred Shard this Friday, so uh, exciting times, as I said I was anticipating for this, I do have one Sacred Shard, I'll get another one from the daily login, um, well it's not, it's not daily login, it's the monthly quest, but, but yeah, once you finish the daily login, you finish the monthly quest as well. Yeah, that one, and then I'll probably get one from um, one of my referrals, so that's gonna be cool. So, we do have a dragon tournament, I barely did anything here today. I'll show you what I did though, and then uh, I got the very first reward here. I didn't even go for the gems, there's no point. And then we do have a classic arena takedown, starting in one day, 14 hours, so... It's gonna be Friday again for the Classic Arena. Ice Golem starts tomorrow. I'm not gonna farm Ice Golem. Even if the rewards are okay, which usually they put better rewards on Ice Golem than the other dungeons because honestly, uh, Ice Golem sucks, especially for new players. And then Champion Training also starts tomorrow. Um, I guess this is nice, especially for me, because I needed to get somebody to six stars and this will give me some nice points. I'm not complaining. Uh, we're gonna have some summons, not complaining at all for this. And I hope we also get a summon event, a, a summon tournament for uh, for the use of my secret charts and also to finally summon this Brago. So this Brago is waiting here. It's like, I click on the screen at least five or six times a day. I click on the screen, not only because of the red dot, but because I wanna click the summon button so much you guys can't believe it. it's like you see your present your christmas present and they tell you don't open it yet and i'm like i want to open it no don't open it yet so uh I'm just waiting for a friday it's gonna be my christmas opening up the legendary which is gonna be guaranteed and then some sacreds uh it's gonna be a ton of fun this weekend so uh, i think we're also gonna have some new events so we also gonna have a dungeon diaries event so it goes along with the champion training double dipping if you guys remember means uh, you do the champion training, you also do the dungeon divers. It's nice getting a few points and I'll be doing that uh, tomorrow for sure, just leveling up more champions. I do have a nice amount of food leveled. I've got five, five stars already here. So that's the six star just ready to go. I've got two level 40s with some food here. So I've got two, four, six, seven, eight. So these can be five stars as well. So I'm going to have seven, five stars. Plus the chickens that I have, I'm, I'm totally prepared for this champion training and I can definitely 
level up a few champions. I know some of you are going to come in the comments and say, Colbrew, don't do it. S save those. We're going to have a fusion for Valentine's or something. And you need all those. And it's good points. I know. But I also want to progress. I'm not going to keep my account with one level 60 for another two weeks. Just because, um, you know, more efficiency. I know. But I also want to progress. I want to have like a free-to-play account. But it, that's also... You know a good free to play account so leveling up maybe Althar to six stars iron brago of course to six stars um juliana to six stars apothecary to six stars is gonna be huge for my account i was even looking at armina so i know i did say in my previous episodes my previous you know videos that armina is not really worth it but she's not worth it for the sole reason that i'm not gonna use books on her okay i don't have so many books to use on her i want to use someone Althar. And she's another epic that needs like a ton of books. Six plus four, that's 10 plus five, that's 15 books. And this guy needs 15 books or so. Um, she becomes crazy good with books, okay? She becomes a better war maiden, even better war maiden. She can decrease defense. She can still terminator, still more terminator, even stun targets that have a uh, low, low terminator. She can do a stun on her A1. So her kit is really good for dungeons as well but also arena so that stun is something that war maiden doesn't have of course war maiden will not be fed anytime soon but i'm just saying this girl is a good one and she also has like a passive fills the terminator by 10 percent each time an enemy receives a stun debuff so if i get something else that stunned um that's gonna be cool as well so um she's definitely a champion that i'm looking maybe to get level up and geared up but for now um, we'll see how the booking goes for Althar. I think I'm gonna try and get his books here. Well, when I say that, I mean, uh, just, just gonna put five books in there. Just click it and hope for the best. <laughs> but I wanna see my summons uh, this weekend and we'll consider it after that. So I haven't changed any of the gear of my champions today, guys. And I just did my normal, uh, normal stuff, the clan boss. I did one easy run. We got, how much, how much damage did we get today? I think we got a good amount, 3.84 and normal. Did I do normal? I didn't do normal. Okay. Um, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost went for brutal. Okay, let's go to the normal. Uh, just the same team. So, hmm. You know what I'm thinking now? Okay. I think I, I should risk it because I do have this quest. The advanced quest, I always miss this quest. I know that I need an attack down, but I've never tried to do this on manual. So, what I'm thinking is to maybe use War Priest in there, or maybe Shaman for the revive. Now, I think I'll use War Priest because she does have an extra heal. So, that maybe we can survive 20 turns to get that extra uh, refresh. Would that be better? Um,. And just using War Maiden, uh, I guess. So, let okay. Let's just go. We'll do one normal run and, and try and see if we can get... I think we can get it. I think we can get it. Okay, let's go. We're going to be weak affinity on War Maiden and Althar. I'm fine with that. But I'm going to be strong affinity on my three magic champions, which are the ones that I want to survive. So, at around 10 or so, I'll put it on manual, guys. And uh, we'll do our best to keep them alive for 20 tur turns. I'll move myself here. Okay. So, the idea uh, why I did easy, okay? I'm not going to get more rewards, but I want to get those 40 uh, gems. 40 gems, I mean the, the refresh once you finish that advanced quest. So, that's why I'm doing this, guys. Um, so, the idea behind, behind advanced quest is getting to that legendary book. I, I want to do as many as I can every day, even if it means sacrificing something. And today it means sacrificing a possible um, one chest from uh, from doing normal clan boss. Wait, is that normal? No, hard clan boss. Because I do easy, normal, hard every, every day with four keys. I do one on easy. I do two on normal because I, I'm not there yet on one key normal. Because no masteries, remember? And then I also do um one key on hard and i barely do any damage there i, I think i just get the the very basic chest 
but it's still fine because it's something. Wait, do I do one on hard? Because I did get a chest today. I think I do one. Anyway, so we're turn four. four. You see the uh, the force champions are getting wrecked. If you didn't know this, guys, when the boss drops under 50%, his affinity changes, okay? It can be any of the three affinity, spirit, force, magic. Those um, have a different effect for each affinity. So the spirit one gives you a speed debuff when the boss takes his second turn. So the first turn, he does an AoE. The second turn, he does the second AoE. And that applies a debuff, a speed debuff on everyone, which means they, they get slowed down. So here's the first AoE. And he also gains an attack up buff. That attack up buff is so strong, but um, you can just remove it. Uh, you can have champions like Arthur there to, uh, that can actually steal it. You, you can put a block buffs debuff on the clan boss and it's still gonna work. There's so many ways around that, but uh, it, it does hurt your champions even more. So you see there Arthur actually stealing the attack up buff, as I said, and then other affinities do the same thing. And then he, uh, on his third turn, he does the stun. So this is the rotation that he does. And you go around that when you do play with uh, with the team uh, on a clan boss. And there's so many teams that can do different stuff. But uh, that's that's more end game than this. Now we just have the best kind of gear we, we can have. We have Apothecary there for the speeds and heals as fast as he can. And then you improve from there on with lifestyle sets and hoping that you... Um, you survived long enough. So now it's turn 10. Um, what I want to do now and put this on manual is I want to have this on manual because I want my best champions to survive, which is the three magic champions. I don't really care about Althar. Um, his damage is going to be nice, but we are already at um, we are already at max damage, max chest. It doesn't change anything now. You see how many weak hits we got there. So that's a lot of reduced damage. So, so these two are gonna die. So if I left this, Apothecary would have probably healed one of these two guys, but no, I'm gonna heal Juliana there. So that's why I'm doing this on manual. I'm just gonna put this on auto now. So next time the boss hits, he's gonna kill one of the force ones because he tries to stun always one of the force champions and then goes for the rest of my team. Yeah, War Million is down. So I think we do have a heal right now. And uh, I'll use it in Althar for him to survive another turn or so. But we should be okay. The next heal should be going on Apothecary himself. So that he can survive a bit longer. Uh, the boss is going to attack now. Yeah, look at all that damage. Now, if I left this on Otto, again, Apothecary would have healed the lowest champion instead of himself. And I want Apothecary to heal himself. So, <laughs> uh, Althar, the poor guy, is just going to die now gonna try and put some poisons but see and uh, now I'll actually even put up a heal on Juliana we can keep it on auto now basically we want to have apothecary and Gallic surviving so I don't care about Juliana dying so I'm switching back and forward you see already I have more damage than I did on the um, on the auto run because yeah I'm, I'm playing it on manual so we are on the last few turns uh we want to get 20 turns guys so let's see so we do get a heal now um but we are gonna get the stun so i'll try and heal myself up so that Gallic gets the stun no it wasn't the stun turn now okay let's boost ourselves We'll get it one more turn and heal back up. Galak was going to heal himself. Do an A3 there. That's turn 17, guys. Okay, let's do an A3 there. We heal Apothecary. Let's do an A1 there with Galak. Speed boost. Big stun there on, on my Galak. I'm going to heal him so he survives a bit longer. So turn 18, everyone. And uh, now we speed boost, so we're ready for the next one. Here's the stun. Again, I missed it. Wow, I suck. So now uh, we're just going to heal. I think we should get it to 20. And then uh, should we speed boost? No, heal now. 
There we go, 20 turns, and now I'll just put it on auto because I don't really care about from now on. 4.5 million, you see the stun just ramped up even more, and we're dead. There we go, 22 turns, 4.5 million. Uh, it's actually a personal record for me, so that's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> even though we missed the calculation of the stuns, I, I, I think we did uh, as good as we could. So Juliana, look at that, 2.2 million, 1.4 on Galek there and um yeah war maiden just the de just does the defense down so our damage on easy boss today was 8.34 but we did complete the advanced quest this is why i wanted to show you this guys because this a free refresh is 40 gems 40 gems so slowly by slowly slowly by slowly 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 <laughs> slowly slowly uh we just accumulate free stuff and this one's a free refresh that i can use and i'll probably use it to farm some magic potions i did farm some potions today i did farm uh some superior ones if you saw my video yesterday i want to get some more superior ones for my um for when i get my iron brago i think i need like five or so more so i'll do that before the um the refresh happens so in three hours and i'll just farm another uh, 20 plus 116 140 energy worth of potions hopefully i'll get one or two more superior ones so what i also wanted to show you guys is faction wars so faction wars sacred order uh, just two keys i have left but look at this guys this is why i could manage to complete my advanced quest today so not only did i have a beat a faction wars boss quest but i also have beat survive 20 turns so our account is finally able to do all of these but not every single day um i'll probably be able to do the 20 turns every single day but not the defeat the faction wars boss at least not for all my factions the only faction that can beat the the boss is sacred order high elves i think orcs so that's three lizard men that's four i think that's four four out of 13 so that's bad odds, if you ask me. If you go uh, to a bookie and you say, <laughs> like a four out of 13 odds, yeah, that's not that's not a good odds to have. So, let's see. Um, I wanna try and see if I can get a three star on the boss here, but honestly, no six stars here. Um, won't really help us survive. And you see guys, we've got Alphar here, we've got Juliana, we've got War Priest, we've got our army gear, it's a strong, it's a strong team for faction wars, but I just couldn't get through uh, stage 15 when I was trying to climb. So doing good so far. And again, you need to manual when you see things going not really your way. I know people love to use auto, but our improved armor gear, by the way, is, is now this time. So, um... Try to reduce the Terminator. Look at that Terminator going down. Now we want to kill the ads. Does the boss, uh, is it the boss that revives the ads? No, he's the one to just place the true fear and provoke. Oh, this one's going to be annoying. So I want to kill the ads because the ads heal the boss. Yeah, that's right. So I want to kill the ads. Because uh, they can become very annoying. It's the poisons. Oof, army gear couldn't get it. Get there. Um, attack up on everyone, but attack up doesn't really help me there. Army gear there for the terminator down. Terminator control. Get some provokes, but it's fine. Okay, one of the ads is down, and. Come on, chill, chill with the provokes. Look at this, we've got everybody provoked now and she's gonna heal. So this is why you need to kill the, the ads for this boss because uh, they don't let you hit the boss. Um, well, the boss doesn't let you hit the ads, sorry. And then the ads don't let the boss die because of the heals. So I'm just gonna keep doing the turn to reduction on the boss. Ooh, but the boss is quite fast. Okay, she's gonna die once she gets a turn from four poisons. That's good. We are at a good position. Look at the extra turns from uh, Outlaw Monk. Ooh, he's gonna be, he's gonna die. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's gonna die. Warpriest got a two turn provoking her. Well, let's 
let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe Armiger is going to help reduce the perimeter, but... Ah, uh, see? Our poor... Uh, our poor... Um, Outlaw Monk died there. It's fine. I'll get it next week. Uh, or the next time it opens. Um, I could just exit it and try it again, but it's fine. Uh, this pose is not that easy. Even if you think it's easy, it's not that easy. So that provoke definitely killed us. The true fear kills us. Uh, because we can't do our spells. Look at that. So annoying. But Armiger here is a real game changer. He's going to be uh, going to level 50 soon, by the way. I'm really enjoying having an army gear, at least for some of the uh, factions. So we got a one star again. So no improvement there. To get two stars, um, it's totally different, different thing. So I uh, ran out of keys. I always use my keys every single day. I farm as much as I can, and you guys can see it from, um, you know, I go to my upgrade screen. I'll show you. This is this is what a free to play need to have, like on his progression. Look at that, 67, one glyphs, 62. 56 one stars. This is a solid progression for glyphs and you see already see I'm starting to get three stars uh, from doing the higher up um, The higher up faction wars. so slowly doing those as well um, Perception set. Yeah, that's gonna be a long way until we can we can craft some Five to six stars again, but it's fine those legendary ones. Are, it's gonna be a long time until we get those I think we'll need to pass stage 15 to be able to get those I think so that's it for today guys i was farming arena as always but i was getting some uh, unlucky teams i was in silver for a while today i got a couple of wins but uh it's not going perfectly my win ratio is about 50 percent but i'd rather get silver tokens instead of uh the bronze ones Ooh, relic keeper is alive and he's probably gonna just one shot everyone no that's a weak relic keeper yeah level 50 so yeah he's level 50 that's why he didn't just wreck my whole team. Oh, he's got a... Man, he's got a swift parry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I was really scared there. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the mission. This is the mission that I'm telling you. 22 out of 50. I need 50 silver medals. And then I'll start uh, just slowly going through these as well. So hopefully I can get to... By Friday, I can get to this one here. Win 25 lesser force potions. So Friday is the force keep. So I want to be progressing through these fast, but I'm still in, uh, you know, mission 97 out of 286. So progression is there, but it's slow. And uh, yeah, I wanted to open up some mystery shards today because there's a few rares that are still missing that are quite good. So a frozen banshee would be amazing. And I'll open up this 10 pack also because I want to have food to level up. I was just missing some food. Oh, there's a rare. There's Eris. Come on. Not only she's a farmable. Whoa. She's a farmable one. But uh, yeah, I've got three of them now. Uh, definitely don't need her. She's cool, but I don't need don't need her. Um, I guess that's cool. We got a rare at least. So that's cool. We're going to have her to level up. I've got two of them in the vault. So uh, I've got enough food for a while there. So one, two, three now. So um, yeah, she's definitely needed for a fusion. Can't remember which one. I think it's Relic Keeper. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, so episode 27. Thank you guys for watching this. Guys, if you love this series, if you like to watch it every single day, leave it down in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I know some of you guys watch these vi this videos every single day and um, yeah, I just love to accompany you through my free-to-play journey with these videos. And I'll keep doing them as long as you keep watching them. Thank you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for day 28.